as Adi Shankara says, these three blessings are rare to come by. And if it happens to you, consider it as a great, great boon from the gods. Manushatvam, to be born as a human being, not just an animal or a bird or an insect or an organism or a worm. You were born as human beings and that's the first blessing. Because human beings are capable of understanding these nuances of devotion and spirituality. It's not given to the, to the other species. So being born as humans and then developing something called Mukshatva. Mukshatva is the desire, is the aspiration to find that self-realization, to achieve, to attain liberation. That is the other blessing that is given to human beings. And if you have got that desire in you to realize God, to grow spiritually, to attain the highest wisdom, then you are doubly blessed. But that, that's not enough. You were born as humans, you also have the desire to le learn about God and realize God, but you do not have guidance how to go about it, then you cannot do it. So that point in time, you also need to have the company of the Great One. So it's not saying company of God, it's not saying company of an avatar, it's not saying company of some other species. It says Mahapurusha, amongst you there should be somebody who should have risen from the ranks of the ordinary to the highest. So that such a person can guide you through this path because he has walked this path. He knows the trials and tribulations, he knows the pitfalls and the slips that are present on this path. But such a person alone can guide you through this path. So such a person being available to you is the third great blessing. Then Adi Shankaracharya further explains that after having achieved all these things, if you don't put efforts, then it's like committing suicide. What does he mean? He means this. Not willing to give up the unnecessary things in life. The individual ideas, your own attachments, your entanglements. and These are the things that need to be given up. 